everyone <laughs> welcome or welcome back to the kia hyundai channel my name is gabby i'm tim and i have a secret i've been keeping from you guys uh -oh. actually kia has a secret yes. i've been keeping from you and it is the 2024 kia south coast ex front wheel drive tim what makes this vehicle different and why is it so secretive because it disappeared on our order guide yes well we never it wasn't saw available it. we never saw the, the car coming nope. um we always had there was no LX, release for it lx all-wheel drive we yep. had ex all-wheel drive ex premiums and then the trims above right? and yeah uh sx and x line but mm -hmm. we never spoke about an ex front wheel drive yes so let me give you some quick history on it it first appeared in 2023 mm -hmm. and that's exactly what happened it appeared no explanation. There was no brochures about it. There was no build in price on the website. There was absolutely nothing. We just one day were checking our incoming cars and saw EX front wheel drive and kind of asked, okay, it sounds like we're getting an EX model with front wheel drive. What but it, it turns out there's actually some other differences when yeah, it comes of to course. what's inside. But it actually happened with Sportage. Yes. Remember? Um, no. Three, four, yeah, three, <laughs> four years ago. Sportage, they made an EX front mm -hmm. wheel drive Sportage with leather interior. Ooh, so it's exciting. We're yeah. going to show you Stiffing. what comes in the vehicle. And I will say we did not expect to also be introducing the 2024 model year, but mm. surprise, here it is. So it's got the refresh that our other models have. Um, and it's pretty exciting to talk about. Mm. <laughs> so we'll give you a full interior and exterior walkthrough. And then we're also going to show you the brown available leather interior on our SX model that we have right over here. Got it? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and one more thing I want to talk about. Thank you to Oscar for sending these flowers yeah. to our dealership today with the happy, happy mug. This is amazing. Um, so here's a gift to brighten your day, and we definitely need it because look at and, outside. And, and then what did you say? Um, you're getting more flowers from viewers oh. versus your boyfriend? <laughs> sorry, Riley. It's a little bit depressing. Yeah, but. sorry, Riley. <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate it, so thank you so, so much. And again, this is a live stream video, so we're doing this Ooh. in real time, no script, no nothing. We're gonna start off by um, talking about a few more things and then we're gonna get into the walkthrough. Yeah. So in our typical Kia Hyundai fashion, we always mentioned that one, we do these videos so you are aware of everything Kia and Hyundai, whether you own the vehicles already or are planning for one in the future. Number yeah. two, we wanna give you all the information there is to know about Kia and Hyundai vehicles and bring out trim different, different trim levels, uh, different maintenance, schedules, yeah, just sure. about everything there is when it comes to ownership or just in the research department. Yep. And then number three. We are actually a real car dealership here yes. in Brantford, Ontario, Ontario Canada. Mm -hmm. You can see our studio sign there. Mm -hmm. um, this is a real car dealership. We sell and service cars here, yes. as well as our Brantford Hyundai location. Which is about, about minutes yeah, down the road. up the road. Mm -hmm. And then way north, Owen Sound, Hyundai. All three of our dealerships are real dealerships selling cars. Yes, <laughs> yeah. they are real places. Now let's get into it. Tim, you wanna grab the camera? Yeah, you got it. All right, so looking at our front end and just the general. Oh, I'm just looking at myself here right now. Okay, okay. yeah, that's fine. <laughs> now tell, tell everyone that this is a sold unit. This is a sold unit. And this is also a sold unit. Yes, so, and that is a common theme here. <laughs> And um, just so we can tell our viewers that we do have, um, this is dark ocean blue, but we do have a dark ocean blue X-Line incoming in December. Mm -hmm. And then we have an EX Premium in lunar orange, which is kind of a burnt, uh, burnt orange color um, that has been um, ordered, but not scheduled yet. So this is an actual car. It's a real car. Um, is but it? Yes, we is it sold. a real car? It is a real car. <laughs> Um, that we actually uh, sold um, to one of our clients here. Yes. Uh, hood prop. Good. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. What's under the hood? It's a two liter four cylinder gasoline MPI engine with 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. This engine is shared across almost every single trim level of the Kia Seltos up until you get to the SX model and the XI model. So we got an SX right over there that we will briefly show you a bit later on in the video. When it comes to the front end, the EX front wheel drive is gonna take a lot of the styling characteristics from our regular all wheel drive EX. So it's gonna have more of a refined finish with the chrome accents on your front grille and then the glossy black inserts in the very center. You're also gonna get a full LED headlight system, so check this out. Full LED daytime running lights, which look beautiful and make this vehicle very, very distinct and stand out, especially at nighttime. And then our main headlight units. On top of that, we also get full LED fog lights. So fog lights are not available on the LX trims, but you do get them in both the EX front wheel and all wheel drive versions. Very exciting. 
All right, we'll come up to the wheels on this side. We're doing things a little bit differently. It's very against my muscle memory, but <laughs> let's check out the wheels. These are 17 inch alloys and these are shared on the LX trims and the EX trims. So regardless of all wheel drive or front wheel drive, you're gonna get these same graphite wheels. You may notice there is no all wheel drive badge and that's one of the huge differences between the EX front wheel drive and the EX all wheel drive. Can you guess? There's no all wheel drive in this model. On top of that, there's also no locking differential. And then when we hop inside, there's gonna be no sunroof, but we get just about everything else. So stay tuned for the rest of it. Paint color, this is dark ocean blue. We also have another blue option called Neptune and it has a bit more of a vibrant finish. So similar to Tim's suit. Sorry? Pluton blue, yes, that's another one too. <laughs> we have two other blue options. And then coming to the back, I will apologize. This vehicle is quite dirty. We don't have a detailer today and it's raining, so I just wiped it down. When it comes to our taillights, these are LED taillights. We have our Seltos badging on the left-hand side, and then of course, no all-wheel drive badging on this one. Space-wise, you get the same amount of space in this trim level. So, when you fold your row of seats down, there is a ton of room, but even with them up, you can see there is a huge amount of space in the Kia Seltos, thanks to its very wide width and a good opening height, this chunk opens to a nice, a nice height. If you are looking for a trim level that does have a power lift gate that is now available for 2024 and it's on the EX premium trims and above, absolute game changer, but the hydraulic one is still easy to use and very nice to have. Coming along to this side, we'll talk about our gas door on all trim levels of the Kia Seltos. Regular unleaded fuel is fine. You just give it a push and it opens up for you. I don't have power right now though. We'll take a look at the driver's area. So Tim, do you wanna pop in there? On the inside, you're gonna have the exact same interior as the EX all-wheel drive, which is by far our best seller. You're gonna get the Sofino leather seats, which are a synthetic leather. However, they are heated, three different levels for driver and passenger. You get these distinct accents along the speakers of this vehicle, which is almost a three-dimensional mountain-esque landscape. I really do like it. The sound system is also quite good, even though it's not a premium one in this trim level. Your mirrors are heated and <laughs> electric. Ooh. Electric controlled. Here, I'll, I'll show that. Hold that. Yeah. Because this is a, yeah, it's it's an oddball, right? When yes. you talk about it. So, let's see, I can't. And, yeah, you're all right. Yep. 38 miles per gallon. <laughs> 6.8 liters per hundred kilometers on the highway for a combined fuel efficiency average of 7.6. And that is better than the EX all-wheel drive, that's for sure. So, why are you showing this? Price Why am sticker. I showing this? Okay, the price. Let's talk about the price. $28,295. And that's what you'll pay at Brantford Kia. Of course, plus taxes and fees, but that is the MSRP. We do not charge dealer adjustments or dealer markups, none of that. If you want an accessory, you can buy it, but we're not gonna force that, those add-ons for you. So, yeah, great success. <laughs> All right, I did mention that the seats are Sofino leather and they are heated. You also have a heated and leather wrapped steering wheel with Bluetooth and media controls on the left side and driver assistance controls on the right side. I'm gonna hop in and show you guys. Tim, do you wanna join me in the passenger side? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't say much. <laughs> All right. So take a look. Beautiful steering wheel. Left side, you'll see your voice commands, your volume controls, as well as a phone and favorite button. You even get a mode button that allows you to cycle between your different media modes, whether it be AM radio, FM, or Bluetooth. On the right-hand side, you'll have this menu button that allows you to select between different views on your main and entertainment cluster, driving cluster. So this section is what's actually controllable. However, the entire screen is digitized. Your speedometer, your tachometer will move, of course, with what you're doing. Um, you can play around with this and see your digital speedometer if you'd like, play around with your driver assistance settings, which we'll do in just a second. You can change the opening volume, turn features on or off if you're not a fan of them, and even adjust the sensitivity of them. So where are we going? Let's see, driving safety forward safety, and we can change late or normal. So what does that do? And what features do you get in the EX front wheel drive? I'm gonna list them because I can't show you them since we're parked. So number one is on our steering wheel right over here, and this is our lane follow assistance. When I press this, I'm gonna get an indicator on my gauge cluster to showcase that the feature is on. And then as I'm driving, the camera that's located in my windshield is gonna pick up the lanes ahead of me. Once that turns green, my vehicle will actually steer for me. So if there's a curve on the road, my steering wheel will literally move to take that curve for me. I can take my hands off the wheel and it'll follow suit with what's going on on the road. 
Now with that being said, after a while, it will remind you to keep your hands on your wheel. You do have to give some driver input and it will respond. Let's say you have to avoid something on the road, like a garbage can, it'll still respond to me as a driver. It's not gonna completely take over and be like a self-driving vehicle. On top of that, we do have our cruise control. This is just a regular operational cruise control. However, a smart cruise control is an option. And on top of that, again, we have blind spot detection and rear collision avoidance. So if I have my vehicle in reverse and there's a car coming from the left or right side, it'll warn me. And if I fail to react, the car will break for me if need be, which is very cool. Tim, has that ever happened to you? All the time. You almost ran me over last year. Yes. <laughs> So close. <laughs> if yeah. only I wasn't driving a Kia. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now back to our screen over here. This is our eight inch touchscreen display. And it may not look too high tech or too crazy, but let me tell you, this screen has a feature that not even our most expensive, most high tech or newest vehicles have. And that is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So essentially all I have to do is connect my phone to the Bluetooth and then everything from my phone will be projected onto the screen without a cord. Very nice if you're forgetful like me. Now, on top of that, we also have some button controls, radio media, a favorite that you can preset to do whatever you'd like, and dials to adjust your volume or tune whatever station you're on. Below that, we have our vents and an automated climate control system. So I can set the temperature to whatever I like, set the intensity with our auto band right over here, or if I prefer to do things the manual way, I can adjust my fan speed right over here after choosing my select temperature. I'll shut that off. Below that, we got a shelf, a 12 volt USB in the very center. This is what you're gonna use for software updates. And then a USB-C on the right because it's 2024 and every phone uses USB-C now. <laughs> Just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> now, right over here, we have our drive mode select and this is gonna allow me to choose between normal mode, sport mode and smart mode. So taking a look at our gauge cluster up here, it's gonna illuminate to show me what drive mode I'm in. On top of that, it's actually gonna change the way the vehicle responds to throttle input and how it's going to shift. So sport mode is of course gonna hold your gears a little bit longer, feel a little bit more peppy, a bit more fun to drive, but it will consume a tiny bit more fuel. Smart mode and normal mode are just gonna be a nice average drive. Smart mode will however adapt to whatever you're doing. So if you step on it to pass somebody, it will temporarily shift you into sport mode. Heated seats, like I mentioned earlier, so three different levels for driver and passenger heated steering wheel and you may notice there is a blank button here on the ex all-wheel drive that's where your locking differential button would be but of course since there is no all-wheel drive system in this trim level we don't have that cup holders are here as well as our parking brake this is a manual parking brake which means you could do some pretty fun slides in the winter just kidding you didn't hear that from me center console it's quite deep good size and one thing you may not know about the center console is it is slidable so you can adjust it based on however you like to drive however you like to have your arm which is very handy tim you want to talk about the glove box it's like nope <laughs> yep very very good size glove box all the manuals are here oh it's fabulous everything inside it so <laughs> your manuals when you're picking up a new car obviously these are the things that people never read so it's mm -hmm. always Wonderful. That's why we do these videos, so you never have to read a manual ever. Would you recommend, even this is wireless, mm -hmm. would you recommend using a cord? It wouldn't really make a difference because it's still going to use the wireless connection, right? Tim's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Unless we've, you wanna... we've got these, we have these questions, well, right? Well, you would, like, let's say your phone's almost dying or it's dead you would need your cord anyway need to charge. charge it, right? Yeah. So I would recommend leaving a cord in here. Now, what I would recommend best is to have a cord with a USB-C input instead. Faster because charge. Because that's gonna charge much faster than this USB here. Yep. This one's great as a secondary charger, or if you are doing a software update or any sort of media transfer, let's say you wanna plug in an iPod that has music, you can do that there. All right, we'll take a look at the back, but first, LED interior lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so this light bar lights up right over here and then we have these individual spotlights they're very cool and of course at nighttime they're extremely bright let's take a look at the back and uh then we'll show the brown interior and the other cell phones yes. all right almost every video i do i usually get hate for carrying the key with me because it makes a lot of noise so i might as well talk about it and then put it down this key or this trim level features our smart key, which essentially you don't have to turn the key anymore. It's push to start. But we also have remote start built onto the key fob, meaning that if you're close enough to your vehicle, you can start it up with just your key fob and it works great in the summer and winter because it'll either cool down your car or warm it up. 
<laughs> Back here, we have a ton of room. The Seltos does great, especially for headroom. So if you're a taller driver or you have taller passengers, they'll absolutely love sitting back here. The seats themselves are quite comfortable when the width department and also the material, it does let you sink in a little bit and relax. There's a nice recline on them. And in the very center, if you have no one sitting here, you do have a cup holder and armrest situation. Now, because this isn't an all wheel drive trim, our hump in the very center isn't too, too tall. So if I was sitting here, I'm not too hunched over and I can be quite comfortable, especially on long drives. Another thing they added for 2024 is the inclusion of two USB-Cs in the very back. So again, you may not even have to use that USB up at the front because you have two extra USB-Cs back here that'll charge your phone way faster. On top of that, we also have, oh, our lights went off. What a great time to talk about our LED interior lighting. <laughs> we have our air vents back here, which are quite helpful. It'll turn on in a second, Tim, it's okay. So that's about it for the back. We gotta get out and get moving so our motion sensor lights turn back on. Branford Kia technology. Oh, there we go. Oh, save energy, right? And this is our brown Sofino leather interior available on the SX trim of the Kia Seltos. So you can get this interior color on our shades. So essentially our snow white pearl, our black, our steel gray, and our gravity gray will allow you to get this interior color. So what changed from 23 to 24? What do you mean what changed? Everything changed. It was a complete refresh. <laughs> Interior wise. Interior wise. So we now have two larger screens. They're both 10 and a quarter inch displays, digital gauge cluster, and of course your actual main software or navigation unit. We also now have a power lift gate, which was never an option available on the Kia Seltos before. So check that out. And last year nice. we had the availability of what color? Uh, we had burgundy. Yes. Which I think we only saw one. We only saw one. Yeah. That's the unfortunate, but you see the screen. Mm -hmm. Amazing oh. screen. And check this out, memory seats. We never had memory seats on the Kia Seltos before. So very nice to have. And Bose speakers, yep. Bose audio. So Bose speakers are something we've had for a while. Same with the heads up display. I'm glad to say a lot of that has stayed the same. Um, one huge thing that has changed is the transmission. So before you used to get a 1.6 liter turbo with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Now we have a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine still, GDI with an eight-speed automatic transmission. A lot of people were complaining about how choppy it was. This one's a lot smoother. What were you saying, Tim? Nice wheels. Oh, the wheels are very nice, yes. I will say this paint color, Gravity Gray, one of the best you can get. It hides dirt very, very well because under the rain, this car is dirty. Just kidding, it's not. But it does do a really good job at hiding weather, salt. And how long do these people wait for this car? This one, I don't know because it wasn't my customer. Tim, enlighten us, tell us. It was close to a year. It was so close to a year. Close to a year. Oh, they boy. actually ordered a 23 and it came as a 24. So sometimes when guys are telling you you're going to get a car in two weeks, mm -hmm. if you don't have a serial number or an order number, you're not getting the car in two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still videoing you, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think we're going to answer some questions now. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Um. We'll spin it. And flip that down uh, for the nice flowers. And Lots bring of Tim this content up. today. Yeah, Tim content. Oh, that's close. <laughs> yeah, right. there you go. All right, I'm just going to put everyone's the car in the everyone's frame. Everyone's a comedian here. Everyone's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so whenever I do it with my iPad, yep. it doesn't allow me to show the questions up there. So I'm going to oh. have to read you the questions. Okay, let's go. So Tim doesn't get to filter through and cherry pick. Yeah, I'm just going to close the hood on this one. Abe said, Tim, please zoom in to maximum on the camera. Oops, <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> okay. Then we're live. Um, Nitin Ooh. said, an all wheel drive option would be amazing. And that's mm -hmm. exactly why there is an EX all wheel drive. Now the price difference is about $2,000 more to get this exact vehicle plus the sunroof and all wheel drive and a and, locking differential. And you also get an LX. Yes, a or lower, you can get lower the LX. model LX all wheel drive as well. Yes. Um, yep. Now, if you do get an LX, there are some features you'll miss out on, like the heated steering wheel, the Sofino leather at seats, the sunroof. Mm -hmm. But you get all-wheel drive, and you get at a lower price point. Our most popular trim is an EX all-wheel drive. Yes. That's our most popular trim here. Mm -hmm. um, now, Starting from the bottom to the top, or the top to the bottom? <laughs> Joseph said, I swear my GM has the same blazer. 
Yeah, Probably we, as you, not yeah, me. Not yeah, me. Canadian Tire. <laughs> Canadian, Canadian, Canadian Tire. Tire. <laughs> yep, we're good. Oh, boy. Um, they want to know who your tailor is. Tim, every time you come on YouTube, they love you. Um, this one is, what's that say? Johnston and Murphy since 1850. Murphy. So I think I got this in Calgary, actually. So my lovely wife is very good to me, so. <laughs> Um, Dale says the brown looks nice. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really good. Eh? I, yeah, I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. It's like that baseball, baseball brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baseball glove brown. Um, see that. I have a question, Gabby. I had my oil change yesterday for my Essex Celtos. Where can I see the oil percentage remaining on my settings? Thank mm. you and have a great weekend. So on your vehicle to access your it's not going to say oil life percentage. It's just going to say when your next service is due. It's going to trigger, I believe, at 1,000 kilometers till the service or 30 days. That's when I get the notification. Yeah, so, so we set them up for three-month three, three increments, um, 6,000 kilometers. Yes. Um, and you can change that. You can change that setting. Yeah. Um, but our guys will show, and they'll actually put a sticker in your windshield as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is a comparison question. Zarius asked, which do you prefer? The Ionic 5N, which is their sports car, like sports, yeah, yeah. super fast yeah, EV, yeah. So, yeah. or the EV6. Now, he didn't specify EV6 GT, but I'm going to assume just because two performance EVs. I think, I think they both have great attributes. So when you look at the cars, I just think aesthetically. Styling, styling, I'll take the EV6 over the, the Ionic because of the back end. Okay. The back end's kind of squared off. It's kind of boxy looking. It's and more crossover-y. It's more crossover-y type, yeah. type look where I yeah. think the EV6, in my opinion, is more stylized and... Uh, more sleek. And it, and it looks gorgeous at night. Like when you drive this car at night, mm -hmm. it's absolutely gorgeous looking. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to disagree with you today. Why is that? Because I feel like it. <laughs> um, I do. <laughs> I lo absolutely love the way the 5N looks. We did get to see it at the LA Auto Show. Uh, it, I think it's wicked. It's nah. super cool. Okay, oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, let's see. How well is vegan leather holding up after a few Canadian winters? So, my old Optima did not have real leather. And mm -hmm. I've, we've had that car. It's a 2013. Ooh. It's almost through 100,000 kilometers. It was here last week. It was here service. last week. To yeah. get, I think it got its winter tires on. Uh, I think it needs a steering rack. <laughs> anyway, they asked about the vegan leather. <laughs> so... It's held up great, and I've had my dog in there. I've yep. sat in there for a long time, through almost 300,000 kilometers worth of driving. The, the car is the I haven't good. seen any wear. I haven't seen any wear that you would normally see on a leather, like pure yeah. leather, where, yeah. it, where it starts wearing in the bolsters and stuff. We don't see that in the vegan leather. Mm -hmm. We don't see the cracking. And as a true or the test, spidering. my dad was driving that for almost just over a year as a work car. Like he shoved his tools in there. It was dirty. It was disgusting. He maybe had like a hammer in his pocket. I don't know, but the leather still looks fine. It looks good. Yeah. So that's a good. Yeah. That's a great question. <laughs> I believe in it. <laughs> yeah, great question to ask. Um, <laughs> Tim, your thoughts on the GV80? Um, I love the Genesis line. I, I, I think they're gorgeous. Um, yeah, it, I, I like the car. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's stylized. I, hey, if, if we decided that that could be our, our next franchise, I would love to have a, a Genesis franchise. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, Angel asked a really good question. Mm. Hi, Canada team. Is there a tire warranty with the purchase of a Kia or Hyundai? And can you explain what the nitrogen tire service is? Well, do you know what nitrogen is? Yes. First off, what is nitrogen? Nitrogen is a molecule that keeps your... <laughs> it's, it's, in, it's in our oxygen. So nitrogen yes. has a heavy mole molecule, mm -hmm. so it doesn't dissipate in heat or mm -hmm. cold. Yes. And it's obviously in race cars. Mm -hmm. We know it's, it's in race cars. So when you talk about nitro, it's, it's very good for your tire wear. Yes. Um, you remember you used to have to go to the gas station and pump up your tires like three or four times a year? That's because our change in our temperatures are so drastic. Remember when your light, light uh, TPMS light goes on? Mm -hmm. um, because you probably have air in your tires versus nitro. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it. I, I think it's a no-brainer in, mm -hmm. in this Especially climate. Especially on performance tires too. And yeah, like a Stinger, um, our EV6s. Yes. We put, we put uh, nitrogen in all of our tires. So when we do our pre-delivery inspection, um, we have a nitrogen machine that sucks all the air out and puts nitrogen back in. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. 
Um, now, on top of that, to answer the other portion of the question, which is about tire warranty, we do offer a tire warranty here, and it's four hundred dollars. Yes. And hear me out: three years, sixty thousand kilometers. Yes. Unlimited repair or replacement. Yes. And you could use the value of that in like one go, pretty much. Well, the one thing that people always forget is what warranty comes with a tire. You're buying a Goodyear tire, a Continental, whatever it may yeah. be that's on the car. They have a road hazard warranty, but I can guarantee if you have a, a nail or a screw in your tire, mm -hmm. it's not under the warranty. So yeah. it's not road hazard. So And obviously, potholes will break belts oh. and tires. And you, you've Where experienced that. Where I live, yeah. the roads are not even roads. It's just <laughs> potholes. <laughs> yeah, and, it's, and it's, getting, it's getting worse at this time of the year, for yes. sure. Absolutely. Um, let's see. OK. Mm. <laughs> uh, English and French. Blair said that when we were talking about the manuals. Oh, yes. You better believe yeah, it. <laughs> yes, actually, you're exactly right, Blair. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Dale said, so Dale is in the States. He said, if you're willing to go out of the state, you can avoid those markups. So, yes, that's great for a lot of our American viewers. Um, if it's doable for you, please source or look around for a reputable dealership that will treat you fairly. Because yep. unfortunately, we cannot sell to the states. <laughs> yeah, the U.S. Yeah. market. We we've said this before that we had a um, a family in just outside of Orlando, Florida, that supposedly spent ten thousand dollars over list price for a Telluride, mm -hmm. which is which is a shame. Mm -hmm. um, then also asked about a panoramic sunroof, and unfortunately, this mm. trim level features no sunroof. Now, if we're talking about the Seltos in general, you can absolutely get a center if this SX model features one, but it is smaller. It's not a Pano one. Right. Um, Subli said, hi from Calgary. Hello. Hey. Um, I'm heading out there at Christmas time, so <laughs> you might see me driving around Calgary. No, really high river, so. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, I love when Joseph leaves comments. <laughs> he said, did you guys get the lavender scented Kumo tires up there or were they maple syrup scented? Maple syrup. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Now, I think that's going to be it for today's yep. video. We are at the 27-minute mark. I hope you learned something today, and I hope... Uh, I actually, I just want to ask, would you buy the Kia Seltos EX front-wheel drive? Would you go down to get the all-wheel drive? Would you go up to get the all-wheel drive? Let me know. It's a bit of an oddball trim, but I think there's definitely some value in it. Yeah, well, we sold. Mm -hmm. We sold a bunch of them. Everyone Obviously, we've had, so we sold. Available, right? Everything we have is sold, yeah. so... But yeah, no, I think it's a great trim. It's something that it adds to the lineup. So mm -hmm. I think it's fine. So let us know. For sure. Would you buy one? Would you not? Leave it below in the comments. And we hope to see you on Monday's video, which Monday, we, me and Charlotte have a special announcement, a very special announcement. Oh, Tim, yes. Do you know what it is? Don't I know. say it. I'm not going to say it. Okay. But yes, I know. It came in a box, right? Yes. And we were allowed to open the box? Yes. Yes. So <laughs> it's exciting. All right, guys. Hope to see you next week. Have a good rest of your have day. Have a great weekend. And a good weekend. Drive safe.